British author George Eliot once said, Animals are such agreeable friends. They ask no questions. They pass no criticisms. The fact that animals are so agreeable is what makes them such excellent companions for the elderly. Today, dogs are increasingly being used as therapy animals, especially in the treatment of Alzheimer's disease. Freya Wilcox is here to tell us how the therapy works. Freya, can you start by telling us a bit about Alzheimer's? Yes. Well, Alzheimer's disease prevents the brain from working properly and leads to serious memory loss. When patients realise they are forgetting things, they can get quite anxious. Not only does depression set in, but they also start to avoid interacting with other people. Alzheimer's patients can get very lonely and isolated, and they end up needing a lot of help. This is where the therapy dogs come in, as they are an excellent source of social support. It sounds like a great idea. What usually happens when the therapy dogs are with the patients? The dogs are so happy and so friendly that the atmosphere brightens up as soon as they arrive. The patients feel accepted by the dogs despite their limitations, so they tend to interact more, even if it's only with the animals. The presence of the dogs often encourages them to do some kind of physical activity, such as taking one of the animals for a short walk or maybe just brushing one of them. Research shows that some Alzheimer's patients even eat more after being with the dogs. It's really quite remarkable what these animals can do. That's incredible. Freya, can any kind of dog be used for therapy? No, not all dogs are suitable for the job. It depends on their temperament. The ideal animal is friendly, comfortable with strangers, and not easily alarmed. Therapy dogs require a lot of training, too. They must be able to sit, stay, perform tricks on command, and resist distractions such as other dogs or attractive smells. We have to make sure we have the right dogs or the therapy won't work. Where do the therapy dogs live, Freya? Surely not with the patients. No, they live with their trainers. Just like the doctors and nurses who treat the Alzheimer's patients, the dogs need some time off, so they go home at night for a break. Also, they need to be bathed and looked after properly, so that they don't pass on any infections to the people they're supposed to be helping. Therapy dogs are kept to a very high standard, so that only good things come out of the treatment. Freya Wilcox, thank you for joining us. My pleasure.